Hello friends, welcome back to another Metroid Dread video. This time, instead of showing you some sort of game breaking or sequence breaking stuff, I'm going to be showing you the solution to some of the game's trickier, more devious shine sparking and speed booster puzzles. For context, the speed booster, and by extension the shine spark, is a recurring power up throughout the Metroid series, and I was absolutely elated to see it return in Dread as well. And Dread puts this power up to good use by implementing some incredible speed booster related puzzles in the game. It puts a great emphasis on it and they are a lot of fun to figure out and solve. But some of them are multi-room puzzles that are pretty tricky, forcing you to really think about your surroundings and find a good spot where you actually have enough room to build up a speed boost and then execute the shine spark in the exact right location. It's pretty great design for secrets and stuff. Now I'm not going to be narrating the whole video, but just so you know how speed boosting and shine sparking works, once you obtain the speed booster item, you can use shine sparks right away. You just need to click in the left stick as you run to build up your speed boost, and once your speed boost is built up, you press down on the thumbstick to store the kinetic charge. Then you press B and use the left stick to angle your shine spark, and it will launch you straight in the direction that you're aiming. There's also the sloping mechanic, which the game does not teach you. Basically, if you shine spark into a slope instead of just hitting the surface Samus will actually start running along the slope when she impacts it and that is important to solving some of these trickier shine sparking puzzles because they make use of that sloping mechanic so keep that in mind. The game also allows you to actually do things like wall jump while speed boosting, which previous Metroid games did not allow you to do. Between that and being able to shine spark in morph ball mode, they've added a lot of extra mechanics and a lot of extra depth to some of these puzzles. So anyways, I'm going to stop narrating and just show you guys the visuals of how these are done, and I will have timestamps down below. So if you're someone coming into this video looking just for a simple guide, you can find the shine spark puzzle or speed booster puzzle with those timestamps stamps and watch it as many times as you need to figure out how to pull these off. Before I sign off, I'm just going to let you know that some of these may look easier than they actually are to pull off. You need to have some pretty tricky precision and timing with some of these puzzles, so they may look easier here pulling them off when done flawlessly or even not even flawlessly all the time. So keep that in mind, but be persistent and at least knowing how to do it is the first step. Anyways guys, that's all for me. I'll stop narrating now and let's get on with the guide part of the video. Cheers!
Thank you so much for watching this video. I just wanted to take a quick second to say thank you to the lovely people who supported me on Patreon, as well as my channel members, particularly those who supported at the cheese level or higher, which includes Tetra, Brenda, Justin, Callie, Finley, Grey Mage, Hylian Historian, Gale, and Ethan3G. Thank you so much for the support, you guys, and I will catch you all next time. Bye-bye.